You're not gonna leave it like this all the time, right? Yeah, I still want to be able to see you and see them. Okay. Today, I'm going to inform you about marijuana, the positive and the negative sides of it. Some history, some information, some basic information about marijuana is that it has hundreds of strands. The two main, the two main strands that it come from is indica and sativa. Indica is more or less for people who want to go throughout the day with a cerebral high and won't weigh them down. So they can still move and function throughout the day. Now sativa is for people who want to, for stress relief and just want to lay down and relax all day. Sativa is more or less for cancer patients. That's what they give to people who are on death bed or about to just collapse. Indica for medical use is for, more or less for patients who have seizures or grand mal seizures. Some cases, when they're in middle school, which is the time where everybody decides whether they're going to be smokers, non-smokers, drug addicts, non-drug addicts, what they want to be in life, what they do not want to be in life. In most cases, it's peer pressure that drives people to smoke, or <coughs> they're around a family and their family smokes. In other words, their environment determines whether or not you want to do this. Medically, marijuana has a Abundant, abundant amount of medical uses. It ranges from pain to aspirin. In other words, you can use this one drug to cure hundreds of drugs with no side effects. Unfortunately, we do not have that much information about it because no one wishes to study anything about the benefits or the negative consequences of marijuana. They have an a, a extreme amount of things saying marijuana is a gateway drug, marijuana is this, this, and that but they will not tell you anything about the negative side effects. In any way, they would, uh, it would include it as a cigarette, basically. So any negative effects you hear from cigarettes, you'll hear from marijuana, when it's actually not true. When actually, this drug right here is actually better for you than any other which is product. Necessities. Just like anything in life, it can become an addiction. It doesn't have any addictive qualities or anything like that. But for people who smoke it long enough, it'll take the edge off them. And they stop smoking it, you will notice it. Or if you just feel like, I need it, I need it, I need it, like anything else. People need water, people need food. People can need a TV, people need electri electricity. Those are all drugs that we've been hooked on. This can also become a drug if you allow it. Morality. Like I said, in middle school, that's the time when most people are, are swayed to or not to smoke. It's all about you, how you feel about it. A lot of people are raised that if you smoke any kind of thing or insert any kind of thing into your body, then you are not a good person. You are just trash among people when it's acting wrong. In most cases, you need something like this to take the edge off. You don't want to go to alcohol to take alcohol. Most nine times out of ten, that's never damaged until you end up dead from driving off the side of the road, driving off the road. Compared to this, the most you're going to do is go to sleep or you're going to drive very, very slowly. Horrible. I'm not going to lie, this is horrible. Lots of people have made constant changes to this from making it with a lot of chemicals such as uh, formaldehyde, uh, cocaine, and all of that. You need to know who you're if you're going to actually decide to smoke, you need to know who you're smoking with. You need to see them, break it down, everything else. Or just do what they need to do, how it's grown and all that. Because there's a, different formations of how people drug each other, such as Waka, when they mix ecstasy inside of it. And that kills a lot of people right now in Florida. As well as some people put cocaine or just lace it with PCP. Those are some old ways to do it, but they still do it nowadays. Now, we have a lot of people saying we should not legalize this, and, and they have their points. We may abuse it. We may not know how to properly utilize, its full, utilize it to its full capabilities. But we legalize marijuana, you also legalize the health plan. And we legalize the health plan, that cost, you 
use that for so much other things, such as clothing, paper, gasoline, electricity. You can use it's, it has so many capabilities that people are not paying attention to, but they say this is a plant, this is a drug. We cannot tax this because people can grow it themselves in their own houses or backyard. But we have people here who want to legalize it, such as in Colorado, Washington, California, and make it medicinal or recreational. Thus, sending a max influx of money towards the state. And right here, this is a link to a list of a list of um, a list of medical medical <coughs> things you can do. You're in six minutes already. Okay. Well, this is all the things that it can cure right here. If you can't see that, I'm sorry, but I was doing it about six minutes. So as I said, this is a miracle drug, but it's also a drug like any other. It can help you, harm you, or just pretty much save us tons of money and lower our taxes. Thank you.